Welcome back to class. And uh, we're learning how to build websites. If you're just stumbling across this video online, you can find all of the resources for everything we're doing uh, right here, including the code. And so resources, 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 extensive notes when I look at the extensive ones, this document, a folder, I think, with all the resources, and then a list of all the YouTube videos. That's actually a really hard thing to type in. So I'm going to go to Google URL shortener. And uh, we'll hit that up and drop that URL in there and shorten it and then copy this. And that's a JJ5FKA. And uh, we'll drop that here instead of that long thing. We'll have that. And then that's much more reasonable. And we'll make it bigger so people can see it. Cool. So that's the playlist of all the YouTube videos. Um, now what we're going to do is just review kind of uh, the extensive notes and uh, an introduction to web pages and CSS and um, and then we've looked at you know kind of different editors you could use and becoming skilled with github we did a really nice deal with that last week and I'm glad to see everybody's doing well or two days ago I'm glad to see everybody's doing well with it and then we'll look at some uh, HTML essentials and we'll go through that so I'm not sure how long this is going to go. I like to try to keep the videos a little bit shorter. I'm just going to launch my timer so I can keep track of like how fast we're making headway or not. Where is my clock? There we go. Start. And we're already a uh, minute 47 seconds in. So let's just do a little bit of introduction to HTML and a uh, couple of things here to learn about. CodePen.io, uh, Emmet, IDEs, GitHub, we've seen those things, but CodePen.io so is a place where you could write code and you could also um, look at people's code. And so this is code that, you know, pens, projects, collections. I wonder if I have a login here. I do. Let's log me in. That's the one I want. What were those different things that came up? Oh, well and uh, logging me in. And so if I look at like uh, explore pins, your dashboard, post projects, collections, creates uh, your profile, your dashboard. I thought that I had some things in here. So here, here are some different ones I guess I put up. Projects, post collections, do I have any collections? I thought there was some place where I had my pins but these are just like different things people have built. And I'm pretty sure this is all HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So if we look at, and it's owned by CodePen. I thought I saw Treehouse. Oh, it's an ad. Okay. I thought there's a place to see my pins. Collections, posts, projects, pins, your dashboard. Go make your pins. I guess these are my pins. And uh, I have a next. Let's see what else there is here. Next. So this one is what I was just looking for. Like this is, you click on this, and here's the HTML, and here's the CSS. And this is all HTML and CSS. And you can see the fog kind of drifting through. That's just HTML and CSS. Like that's pretty cool, right? So it's a cool place to kind of explore just to see, you know, what are some, uh, <coughs> what are some pins that are out there. What are some things that you could do with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? So when we looked at those, right, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, that's what we have. So, so anyhow, that's CodePen.io, just a head up, heads up. And then there's Emmet.io, and we'll take a look at Emmet.io, but just a little preview. Emmet.io allows you to do um, really quick code completion. And so um, Emmet Cheat Sheet is uh you know it gives you a little bit of the syntax for really quickly writing code so if i go into golan which is the ide i'm using and um, i need to create some code so i'll go into the code for our course and temp spring 18 and let me just copy this folder and we'll make it 004 and then in here I have this file, let's close this one, right? And um, 
Let me get rid of the style. And then let's say I needed to create an unordered list with uh, 10 items. So UL with LIs under it that are children and give me 10 of them. And so it really quickly types code out. And, you know, now I could, you know, like beach, Hawaii, you know, surf, sun, uh, you know, friends, music, um, and uh, sleep, what? Sand, and uh, family. Oh, too bad that came out low on the list. I kind of put them in with friends. And, um, and good food, right? And, and then I could come up here, and I could just type H1 and, it, and hit tab, and it fills it in. And uh, the life I dreamed of when I was a kid. And other novels by Todd McLeod. Right? But that's Emmett where it allowed me to do that really short syntax. And you can look at the different examples they have here. So UL, LI, and then with the class, and we'll learn what classes are, item. Right? And give me five of those. And then the dollar right here numbers them. One, two, three, four, five. So if I wanted to come back to mine and do another UL, LI, unordered list this time, LI, and uh, I could do like a dollar times, oops, times 10, and it put LI 1, 2, 3. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for, but that's where the dollar ended up from this. So LI, and then maybe I think these are content, right? So now LI 1, 2, 3. So that's like, you know, the syntax right there, and I'll just duplicate that. But that was, and I'll add a comment to that, right? So that's the com. Well, that's not the comment I was looking for. Uh, HTML comments are um, are like this. There we go. But that's uh this this syntax right here, right outside of these things, which is the comment, right? This syntax gave me this with the numbers in there, because the dollar sign translated the numbers, the curly brackets translated to this is the content. And so we'll use Emmet to write code a little bit more quickly instead of having to type everything out. So that's just a little introduction to Emmet and CodePen. And we'll stop that video here.